Hey, what's good, people? What's going on? Yeah. What's happening out there? Well, what's the date today? Well, it's the 21st of July, Thursday. And I just want to share a few things concerning the market. You all know what's the content of this YouTube channel. So this is just a, a um, okay, maybe I'm, I'll say, um, I'll share an, a, a market, market direction for today. But at the same time, I'll be having an update for the weekly review, which I shared, sorry, on Saturday or on Sunday. I forgot what day it was. So without any further ado, let's just hit the charts. So as y'all can see, you're on the NAS right there. If I understand the day time frame, just to clear something up. I said on the previous, on Sunday, before the market opened, I said, it's just a little way for Phil to break off this level. Or we simply wait for a breakout to take continuation trades to the upside. But since you can tell that what we had on Monday, we had a, a rejection, price rejected to the very same level, giving us a strong resistance slash triple top and price rejected from it. But on Tuesday, the bears went strong enough to maintain everything which was happening. And unfortunately, they shot to the upside, printing out a potential lower high to my side if you're looking at the if you look at the actual aspect of the actual structure of the market you still have the lows lower highs lower lows and lower highs so i believe there's a lower high but at the same time i still see price coming back to something around those levels but we won't see what happens so on the four edge since we had a breakout we all know once price is a, a breakout once you get a price breakout once you get a price breakout because you had a one two three breakout price didn't come back or you just but it did exhaust in some way push phase exhaustion phase or push phase so now what i'm looking at today is because my price printed out a a, a low a high right there and the only thing I'm waiting for is for continuation breakout <clears throat> to take buys or for fail to break to take sales to start going short with price. So now because the boy H and A don't have much to say on the one age, you can tell that like price um they react with a push exhaustion double top. Which is a triple top on the daily and the four H price reacted. So on Tuesday we had a price correction. To be honest, I took I took I took I took those um those sales. But little did I forgot that I did have this level marked out for potential what retest on price broke out on Friday. We're hoping for a retest for continuation. So because now I trade current like. I trade price section, I trade structure, I, I trade behavior, I trade what I, what I wake up and see, so I wake up to trade, understand me? So when I woke up, I saw that like price did react, having a correction. The only thing I was hoping for was for price breakout. So now on the London session, on Tuesday, we had price failing to break right there. And I took sales based on the 15 minute time frame. A candlestick breaking out and breaking in and closing inside the level and unfortunately it broke out and also broke in and the coming candle just reversed with price so with that said i took those l's on okay monday i didn't trade let me see monday i didn't trade tuesday i took those l's which i'm explaining right now and then on 
Wednesday, yesterday, yesterday, let's not say Wednesday. Yesterday, I did not trade because I was waiting for a retest from the level price broke out from. But what I saw at the same time is that price is actually reacting from this level. Because you all know that like we have potential levels which price don't see, but you just need to keep your eyes open. So now we had a 15 minute and when one age bull flag boom and price broke out boom. So now to me, like I didn't see anything, most especially with the New York Stock Exchange candle, this price rejection from here, price rejected this high. Boom. So it took it, it came back to took those highs, but it wasn't strong enough to start going bearish. Understand me. So now with that, I was like, I I don't have a trade. I don't see anything to trade. Let me just relax. So today I woke up and I see price is trailing right here. Yeah, boom. So what does the only thing I'm waiting for? Because we now have price rejecting three times on this level. So the only thing I'm waiting for is for this candle to close bearish and for the London session candle. Which is coming in like 12 minutes to have a price rejection or a breakout for continuation. But I see price rejecting. Okay, but okay, I potentially see price rejecting right now. So with that said, I will take short trades based on price failure to break, with my first target being just one to one, one to two, and I'll leave a runner with price breaking inside this level once again before me. So I'm not looking to do much and I'm not looking to take much. Head into gold. We all know that like on Friday, on Sunday when I dropped on gold, I'll uh, say price is in a correction. We actually wait for a bullish breakout, boom, or a bearish breakout. So we did have a bullish breakout, boom, but price broke in and failed to break again. We, we, we tested the intraday resistance level and unfortunately gained momentum to move to the downside, breaking the intraday support level. So now to me, I'm just simply waiting for a break of the resistance of the support level, which we currently trading at. We wait for a retest of the support level. I mean, I wait for, I would wait for a breakout, retest, or I'd wait for a fail to break to start buying support. Like we know that we, you, you just simply buy support, sell resistance, you understand me? So gold, there's still not much to say. Gold has been moving in a, has been moving fantastic, but nah, it's a no-go for me, the form. So looking at the German 30, even on German 30, we did say we simply wait for a fall to break or a breakout to take continuation trades to the upside. But we did have a price breakout, boom. But price first reacted. But unfortunately, we had a breakout. So looking at current structure, damn, I feel like my charts have so much things on. Do I still need to remove my wedge, my falling wedge? Yeah, just to clear up my charts, bro. Yeah, just to clear them up. So now looking at the current price, looking at the current price, we have a push and an exhaustion potential flag breakout. So now with this, now okay, so okay, okay. Let me let me try, let me try and explain this in a fantastic way. If we have price pushing, creating a high was the higher low and the current high isn't higher than the previous high. That's a sign of a potential price reversal, right? I hope someone knows that I'm talking about or understands me. So we have a high and the current high not higher than the previous high. But that said, to me, it's a trending reversal. So on the one edge, just to find trading patterns, we have a flag, right? And I still have this level price traded from yesterday, which would have basically a, 
um, um, what can I say, a push and an exhaustion and a push which wasn't strong with the breakout and retest and continuation and breakout again. So I simply wait for a break, for a close outside this level, close below, close below to take, to take those big momentum trades. But at the same time, I have this level I need to look at from the 4H. So now with this, I simply wait, to be honest, to be professional, if we have a, a high, and the low and the high, not the higher than the previous high. What we need to do, we simply need to wait for a price breakout. We need to wait for a breakout of that lower low and a retest and a continuation to start looking for that big for that reversal trend performance. So that's my take on German daily for the day. I'm looking for those sales. But if price reverses, then it reverses. That's what it chooses to do. You were steady. You're also waiting for a fail to break or breakout. We have the breakout. Now price is potentially having a double top. And we're still holding this break wall, which we're still holding at the same time. And to me, I like we had a head and shoulders right there for some time, which price hasn't came back for retest. But I believe that like it's over now because we're looking at current structures. So on the 4H, I potentially see a double top. So from the 1H, I still have a flag which price kind of broke out. So if now this flag, it's a retest for continuation, I simply wait for a break of the high, retest for continuation. But if price fails to break this high, then we might be creating that intraday support level, resistant level to go, to move to the downside with price. So now with this, I would say I'm looking for, for buys, but at the same time, I don't know why I feel to be more bearish, but price is showing me those bear signs before me. So USD CAD, USD CAD are only wait on the one edge. USD CAD, we did know that we had a breakout on Thursday last week, breakout and break in again on Friday and price started moving bearish. So when I woke up today, I saw price was time kind of like in a bare flag type of structure with the current market price breakout. So I did draw this, I think 5 a.m. Yeah, 5 a.m. before I went for a job. I did draw this and I was like simply wait for a breakout retest for continuation. But at the same time, we do know that like we have this level, which will be a so to me, I'd be simply waiting for to take this trade, which I might think I might go for one to one. I might go for one to one before me, but if price breaks out, we continue moving with it, which might be stronger, stronger trade, which I might take profit right there. That's USD CAD. Um, what's next? Oh, those go up on a Tesla. Tesla, it's not moving beautiful to be honest. It's in a correction. So to me, I'd simply sell here or buy here. Because my current structure is in a correction, I have nothing to do or there's nothing for me to do. And there was its earnings and revenue report yesterday. Price, we had an estimation of 1.8, but we had a 2.7, 2.27%. And we had an estimation revenue of a 16.539 billion. And we reported a 16934 billion, which is like a two point three, two point forty. So two comma forty percent gain. So I believe that like market open, there might be a breakout and price might break in again. But I, I'm just saying. Bitcoin, we did tell, we simply wait for a breakout or fall to break which price did kind of like break out. But I saw a potential wedge yesterday. Dude, I love trading a bear, a bull. I, I love trading rising or falling wages. I did see the wedge, we had a breakout, now price is reacting. So to me, there's a potential, there's a potential reversal in any way. So there's a push, exhaustion, push, exhaustion, push, exhaustion. The formula might be that potential trap of structure reversal on Bitcoin. So now what I what I'll simply do, what I'll sell, if I would have to sell on the MT4, I'd simply wait for price breaking out, retesting below, breaking the, the, the brick wall, the bull channel, retesting for continuation and a stronger market reversal trend to the downside, even on Ethereum. 
Ethereum, we did have it. Boom. So the only thing I'm waiting for is for a break of this London lows, of this New York lows for continuation to the downside because our trades, they did surpass us from that level. So we simply wait for a break of those lows for continuation, even on Litecoin. And Litecoin, I did look for potential sales, TP and sell here some weeks ago, weeks, 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 weeks. Like I always say, the trades I, the type of signals I catch, they only last for like five, five days, two weeks, a month or six months to me because I saw sell, sales on NASDAQ on January, which is like seven months. I saw seven months, I saw seven month signal. So yeah, let's move. The coin, I simply wait. Sells below resistance for me. This intraday resistance, because I also had the intraday support. So sells below resistance, same thing which I saw break out, trade below for continuation to the downside. Last but not least, that's oil. Well, I did say we simply wait for the price to trade here, to trade above this level, which it did trade above this level and it took those buys. So now we did fail to break the intraday um, support level and we broke out of the brick wall. So like I always say, if you're trending channels like brick walls and everything, you need to have stronger levels which support that level. So to me, I could have took continuation buys. The price broke out, brick wall, retest, break of support, break of resistance, retest for new support and continuation. It could have been a stronger confluence for me, but we broke out of resistance, we broke out of the break wall, but we failed to break resistance and price moved to the downside. So today I'm simply waiting for price to take to take buys above this intraday highs or this intraday lows, and that's it. So yeah, and we about, we about um, three minutes, two minutes before the session. Before I end the session, can I wait those two minutes or these three minutes just to simply take the trade live with y'all? And then I'll end the session right there. And then I'll end the session right there. If I had to take souls right there, stop loss would it be tied to boom. So I just simply need to wait for that spike. Can we foresee so many perp stop loss? If my one to one right there, one to two, okay, one to three, and then we'll leave it running. Let's see, based on a 15 minute time frame, where I could take a sell from. Yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway to me. Anyway, anyway to sell to me. Anyway, let's look at the German day before we continue. To me, to sell anyway. German day. Go to sell. Yeah. It's not pass outside that level, obviously. One to one, one to three, and that's it for the day. But we're looking at mass because that's what we trade. So, how many pips must price? Ah, 40. 40 pips, that's nothing, man. That's not there. And if I was using a webcam, not my laptop to record, I could have, I could be showing you the uh, what's this the heat map right now. You potentially have a bay. We have a bay open with the stock 600 down about 0.21%. And 
unless if we might have a reaction from this level right here. I never saw it. I only see it now. I only see it now. Hmm, to be honest, I only see it now. But we know where we're looking to take the cells from. On boys and German dude, I can tell. I'm not comfortable taking the sale where price is, bro. If I could take a sell here, yeah, where my stop loss gonna be, bro? It's gonna be inside the intraday level, bro. And if you're gonna kill me, 100 pips stop loss, bro. That's death. That's death to my account, bro. Nah, that's death to my account. For real, for real, for real. That's death to my account. And I miss trading live. I miss trading live. I'll be back, guys. You all know it. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Sooner than ever. Sooner than ever. I'll be back. Live trading. Live trading season two. Part two. Because one, I haven't traded on that account. But I'll be back soon, soon, soon than ever. But can you guys see that like prices reacting from the level which I, I printed out seconds ago? Not to keep passing now, you're reaching my aim trying to drive a boat. <laughs>
I see a price rejection, price rejection from that level. So I don't know why. SKE is really definitely a All right, guys, <clears throat> I think I might hit the session here. Yeah. I will share, I will try and share a YouTube shot with the, how the market went by and how everything was. So, yeah, y'all know what it is. It's a boy, Harlem. If you ain't trading with Harlem, who are you trading with? A fake ass mental. A fake ass mental. Will they trade demos? But we move. So that's all I got. 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 Peace and love. Peace and love, man. I'm out.